Good Monday morning. I'm Dale Cedars. Get ready for the heat because it is coming today. Our temperatures started this morning in the 60s, some of us even in the 70s, climbing to around 90 degrees by lunchtime and then triple digit heat later this afternoon. And look at how hot we are going to stay even by dinner time tonight, 7 o'clock. We are only looking at cooling off just to around 70 degrees. So just be warned, you're going to want to find some place to be inside. Now, this heat, the low humidity levels, and even the gusty winds that we're going to see today, that that gives us a red flag warning for the western portion of our state. You can see it here, mostly west of the I-25 corridor, except right up north in north central Colorado. You could see it coming just a little bit to the east side of the I-25 corridor. And that is not good news for the two fires that we're dealing with, the High Park fire up north, as well as the Springer fire down south, just west of Woodland Park. As we look at our future cast statewide view, starting at 7 o'clock this morning, you'll notice not a lot out there on that map, not until around 5 o'clock. That's where we're going to start to see just a few of those clouds begin to pick up north of the I-70 corridor. Now, it's not until even later this evening, 9, 10 o'clock, that we might see the chance of a few isolated showers in the north east corner of our state of in the Sterling area that's not going to last long that all is going to push right on out we're going to be dealing with clear skies overnight and also as we start off our day on Tuesday so for day these are the temperatures you can expect triple digits here in Denver and Greeley Fort Collins you're going to be close right about there out on the eastern plains look at this though Burlington 103 Lamar 104 very good chance you could see 105 degrees if you're trying to get a little reprieve from this heat the best place to go is our central mountains Although temperatures there are still going to be pretty warm. Look at this. Vail, 81. Winter Park, 81. Leadville, 75. The farther west you go, you're going to sort of warm right back up into those 90s, although you may not see the triple-digit heat. Here in the Front Range, look at that map. You're mostly looking at the upper 90s, even that 100 degrees. And then as we look at our seven-day planner, tomorrow you're going to notice we're going to cool off just a little bit. We do have a chance for some evening storms. Then we're going to have a cold front push through Tuesday night into Wednesday. That's going to drop our temperatures down into the low 80s, which compared to 100 degrees is going to feel fantastic. That's also our best chance for some afternoon rain. Then on Thursday, we're going to start the warm-up yet again. The 90s climbing into the mid-90s by Saturday and Sunday. Get ready for a hot week.